Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tower Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's going on with the silence between the two of you. So why are they not communicating, why are they not reaching out, or they're not responding, why do they ghost you here? We'll go ahead and see what their silence is really saying, and what this silence between the two of you really means. It is going to be a general reading, guys, please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look and see what messages are coming up for you here. Okay, interesting. Okay, so with this particular situation, I'm getting withdrawal here which withdrawal from your partner from your romantic energy so it feels like someone here is keeping silent because they may be experiencing uh, a range of emotions they could be really angry they could be feeble they could be sad here they could be confused a little bit uncertain here so they're withdrawn so maybe this is someone who you might still be communicating with this person but it just feels like they the communication isn't the same okay it's it's reduced they're not saying as much or they could really be weaponizing their words it could be really snarky and bitter and just like throwing jabs at you it could be very short and brief now for some of you you have you may have had some sort of um disagreement an altercation okay and it might have been just something very small and trivial but there's more underneath that okay it's more than just this altercation it's saying something here so you know, the silence here I see is confusing for everyone, not just for you, but also your romantic person, because I think for you, you probably, because they're not responding here or they're not reaching out and not communicating, I mean, it's only natural for you to assume the worst. And I can see that you are feeling a sense of rejection here. Okay. Now, for some of you, I feel like you have to know that their silence, it could be a punishment. I know it sounds emotionally mature, but hey, you know, I'm seeing a bit of ego play in the works here. So the, the fact that, you know, at its extreme, their silence could be a punishment. They might be punishing you. They might be using their silence here to manipulate you in this situation here. For, for others, it's not so much, it's not that cruel or toxic. It's more an attempt to kind of you know, they're in their head and it's more an attempt to kind of navigate this emotional territory and their emotions, like what's really going on. They may be starting to catch feelings for you. Their feelings for you might go the other way. They might be dissolving. They're kind of just trying to figure their, their, you know, their way around this. And this is someone who I feel like has pulled away as a result. And for you, you're probably feeling a sense of reject, rejection, abandonment, and you're just feeling a little bit uncertain. So... Okay, also if you're a female watching this and if you're dealing with uh, a male, you know, what, when a man is feeling really loved and he's getting the attention that he wants in a relationship, um, you know, if he initiates physical affection um, and, you know, if you reciprocate here and it's all good, um, a woman in return will openly express her love for him and, you know, the two of you are glowing in the intimacy. A man will not say anything about this because he will assume you know how you feel through his physical actions and his affection and intimacy um, whereas women they need to have that verbal uh, reassurance here so with the man it's uh, with the man it's a little bit different here okay silence is not necessarily golden and not not in this case as well because I feel like 
I'm seeing that there is a, a silent withdrawal from your person and I feel like it's I do feel like it's purposeful and it is deliberate well as I've mentioned it's either them trying to get to figure out their emotions from you and it, it could also it could also be them trying to you know manipulate you or punish you I'm also seeing some of their behavior here. So someone someone here is pursuing an energy. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're the pursuer. So I'm getting two different types of energy, pursuers and withdrawers. The person that is pursuing here tends to cling. So if they pull themselves back, I don't you it's probably not a good idea for you to pursue because then you can come across as a little bit demanding, a little bit pushy, and that's going to have your person withdraw more and more away. Okay, they're going to pull further and further away. Um, also, pursuers can come across as a little bit attacky. Okay, you might not mean to come across that way, but you come across a little bit attacky. Or that if they're the ones that are pursuing, then that's how they're coming across. So take it as it resonates. Withdrawers then retreat, they pull back. And it's like this song and dance that you do. You know, pursuers then can come across as very intrusive. Withdrawers will then respond to that by putting up barriers. Pursuers can be uh, very controlling. Withdrawers will be like surrender here. Um, pursuers think they're right. Withdrawers think they're wrong. Pursuers lead. Withdrawers will follow. Um, you know, pursu uh, sorry, pursuers. pursuers, the pursuer here will feel very helpful, whereas the withdrawer will feel very helpless. So it's like this song and dance that you're doing. Um, and, and it just feels like if this is what's keeping the interaction between the two of you stuck. Okay, this dynamic. So you have to find a way to break this dynamic if you really fall into this pattern here. Um, I'm also seeing that, like what's going on with your person's brain right now, uh, so they're just trying to protect themselves, they're just trying to process their emotions, and what's going on with their brain right now is I feel like it's a, it's a protective, them shutting down, them withdrawing, and them not communicating with you, it's a protective mechanism. They could be trying to protect their ego here, maybe they feel really hurt by something that you said, uh, maybe by the tone in which you said it, you know, I'm seeing some sort of altercation, maybe they're just feeling really hurt and has nothing to do with you, and you know, they're kind of lashing out at you, they're projecting their hurt onto you, but I think the origins of what's happening here, it really lies in their emotional being and their emotional environment so there could be certain things you might have pushed their emotional button so there could be certain emotional triggers here that i think have developed in e either the early days like in family schools or in their um just like in their adulthood young adulthood and their bringing here and it feels like this person is really struggling to find an emotional language so if they hurt by if they are hurt by something that you've said it might bring up memories of you know their abusive parents or their abusive upbringing here and instead of communicating with you this person is then uh, you know they withdraw here okay they withdraw because they, their brain it just feels like their mind here has little need or capacity to talk about these emotions because it's not how they were brought up here and it's just that they quite literally are struggling to find this emotional language okay to which they want to communicate here i'm also seeing that your person is someone who is a little bit pride they're coming across as uh, sorry very proud there's a lot of pride here ego involved and they don't want to talk about their emotions because they don't want to be exposed okay they want to remain that you know really manly or very alpha here and maybe you know it, it's sort of like an old chestnut that emotions are not manly and you know heaven forbid some you know a man discusses them so he um he or even she because they're an alpha energy here they might just be being exposed to you i'm also seeing that this person is getting angry with their feelings they're very irritable they feel frustrated at just having these feelings whatever these feelings are in the first place because you remember, this is an energy that doesn't do feelings very well. And I think silence is an attempt for them to protect themselves, possibly also protect you from causing more damage to this re uh, re relationship connection here. Because I'm also I'm seeing that there's already some sort of conflict or existing tension. They don't want to communicate because they don't want to add to it. So maybe it's a good idea to give this person space, some time to um, work things through. Um, is it a winnable competition? I don't know. I feel like some people... Um, you know, some people hate feeling inadequate, 
uh, so much so that they might process their feelings slower. And they do that in a, in a, in a way to avoid the feelings of defeat. So not, not that this is a game, but they're coming across as, it's coming across as something like that. So they don't, they don't want to compete with you, or they do want to compete with you in this conflict or in this silent treatment. And they res this is why they're responding a lot slower, because they want to win. Okay, not that it's a game, but that's kind of how they view it. Okay, if you break the silence first, and if you communicate first, or if you apologize first, ultimately, you know, ultimately they see it as defeat, victory, them defeating you. Um, it's just, there's some sort of conflict, there's some sort of tension here, and, you know, truth be told, it feels like this person is unhappy because it's affecting their mood. So, whether it's an altercation that you have, it just feels like they're not necessarily happy here. Um, I can see that you're experiencing huge concern, anxiety, also confusion about this, your person's silence and their withdrawal. Um, and they're probably guessing what they're thinking or feeling. Don't assume the worst here. I just think it's it's good idea to give this person a little bit of space and to give yourselves a little bit of space, a little bit of time here. I think they're going to come back around. Um, or if you do want to initiate conversation, just don't come from a place of ego, okay? Like, don't, I told you so, or, you know, you're right, they're wrong. I think just really try to neutralize the communication here. Just try to stabilize the energies. I do think, you know, there will be contact, there will be communication in the future. You know, this person will come back here. But be careful because the fool is an energy of someone walking back into your life and not taking personal responsibility for what's happened. So they sort of will start communicating but ignoring the fact that the two of you just went through this huge gap of no contact, no communication, or they may have even ghosted you. So they're just sort of vaulting back into your life, almost as if nothing happened. Pull them up about it because they did it once. Guarantee you they'll do it again. Okay, so watch what you tolerate. Um, okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching, listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to inquire. Bye for now.